This is the Pico Eddy machine. It's a clone of the gem. And that makes sense, the gem was all over the place. These days, at any given point, there's always a few of them for sale online. So the gem sure seems ripe for the cloning. Although the gem itself could have easily been accused of cloning, its first patent looks suspiciously similar to Webb's patent from way back in 1891. There's this Triumph adding machine that looks like it could be a clone of the gem, but it weighed 11 pounds and its mechanism was quite a bit more sophisticated than the gems. It had a button where you can disengage the top two columns and have them be an extra counter. This Dux machine certainly looks like those early gems. At best though, I think it was just inspired by the gem. Its mechanism was quite a bit different too. Its patent came out about seven years after the gem, so it certainly had enough time to change the internal mechanisms. So finally we get back to the Pico. It was made by Precision Instruments Company out of New Jersey. Good luck finding information on that company. It was a pretty generic company name. It was available in the mid 50s for around $20. This was well after the patents had expired on the gem. It looks and behaves quite like a gem, just like the gem. It's pretty much sized the same, although um, there are a lot of gem styles. Some are bigger than this. It had the same black texture as one of the other gems, although it's a bit more squared off. It has those great screws in the back so you can um, get the mechanism out a little easier than the gem. So that's a nice little change. Although I regret taking mine apart because somehow I messed up the, the last two number place carries. Mine um, has a serial number on the other side there. 11500. Who knows what that means about how many of these were made. It was only advertised as, as doing addition and multiplication. So here's 25 times 25. Here it clears okay, but since I took it apart and put it back together, I messed it up. Maybe it was because I wasn't following this instructions about not playfully registering nines in each column and then clearing it, but it was just so fun. So here I'll take it apart so you can see the mechanism, which is just the same as the gem. I ought not to have taken it apart. But I'll probably do it again in the future. You can definitely feel when it's time to carry. Even carrying one place is a little hard. When it does carry, there's that little carry pin that rotates around. And right now it's up out of the way of the next place's gears. But as it rotates, it'll hit a spot on that little washer that's indented and then it's able to drop down and mesh with the gears to carry a place.
and then as it continues to rotate, it lifts back up out of the way. So that's the Pico adding machine from the 1950s. If you should ever get one, don't take it apart. <laughs>